Hi, I'd like to continue the discussion here of um, Xcode and creating a calculator. So I used the last three videos to um, use auto layout to lay out the buttons for our calculator so they resize and fill the screen nicely. And now I'd like to talk about um, a couple other things, right? So we've got our buttons here, but you know, if we wanted, you know, we could use the button built into Xcode. Let me get rid of the preview there. And you know, there's some options here that you can set. So, you know, if you if you want to set the background color, you know, you can pick a color. Um, maybe I'll I'll make this kind of a blue. This whole top row will be blue. Uh, you know, you know what you got to do is you can't just set the color on each one. You'll have to click the button and then click the color to bring up the color palette and then you gotta close it again and do the next one right. So we can do the colors here and and that works out pretty good. Um, you know for a lot of stuff you can do like a really nice design this way and for the text color too you can modify that. So maybe up here on the the um, you know the button options there where it says font and text color you know we could set the color here to uh, to white maybe. Let's change that. Maybe I'll just pull white up off the menu here. Yes, yeah, so that's not too bad. Um, and uh, I'll set them all to white. I won't do all the buttons. There's a lot of buttons there. You know, and and uh, you can also set the font. So, you know, maybe, um, maybe this row of buttons is going to be 7, 8, and nine, and um, maybe I'll select them like this and choose white as the color. And maybe I'll pick a color here from my, oops, I, I did the text color. I didn't want to do the text color there. Let's do the, uh, the background color here. As maybe kind of a green, nah, maybe a yellow, yeah, maybe like that. So, uh, so anyway, you know, I could set the color like that and my calculator starting to come together and, you know, you can set the, um, the size too. So I set the text to white and I can go up here and, uh, set the font. So maybe I'll, I'll choose a custom font and we'll do Helvetica, Helvetica new and we'll make it the light version. And then maybe 15 points is a little small. I'll make the text a little bigger like that. And, you know, and then, then I can style everything there, right? And that works pretty good. Um, let's try the preview mode again. Oh, it doesn't look too bad, right? You know, I could put the other labels on there and set them to whatever they're going to be. Right, so so that's one thing you can do. In some cases, though, that maybe doesn't work, right? Maybe you want to do a calculator that's more graphically um, involved, okay? So um, let me do an example of that in the next video. And what I want to do is I want to replace the background of each of these buttons with an image, right? So instead of, instead of just using the color options that are here in Xcode, I want to put a picture in there. Hey, you know, um, while we're here, let, let me talk about one other thing while we're styling the default buttons. But uh, if you set the color here and the options for the button, um, you know, in, in, in the, the property inspector here, there's an option here called state config. And the state config option lets you set these values for each state of the button. And the button um, has these four states. It's got default. That's when the button, when you're not interacting with it and it's, you know, a normal button. Highlighted is <coughs> when you're touching the button or interacting with it. And selected is the, when the button can be in a selected state. So, um, you know, if it's the current choice, right? Um, and then disabled is when the button is inactive, okay? So you can set the value for each of these, and you do, you do it in this way. I'll choose the highlighted state, and then maybe for each of these three buttons that I colored orange like that, or ochre, or whatever color that is, I'll select the color, and then maybe I'll make the color a little more orange like that, right? Okay? And that'll be my, um, my selected state, okay? And... Uh, um, 
oh yeah, there's the state config right here. So I could set this back to default and then uh, I guess for for some reason, I guess I couldn't, can't do that to all four at the same time. Let me change this and uh, and do it. Maybe you can't change the background for the state config. That's kind of too bad. Um, I guess you can't do that. I was thinking you could do that. We'll have to do that in the next video because I know you can do that for the background image. So yeah, let me continue this then in the next video, and then we'll we'll talk about adding a background image here. Okay.